In this lesson, you will review electrical settings. You will also add a wiring type. Electrical settings determine the voltages, wiring, distribution systems, and demand factors that are applied in the design. As you place components and create circuits, Revit MEP checks to ensure that components are compatible with the specified voltages and distribution systems, speeding up the design phase. Select the menu browser and click Open. And from the Training Files Imperial Electrical Systems folder, open the file RME Elect Planning 01. Let's add a correction factor. Click the Manage tab and from the Project Settings panel, click the MEP Settings drop-down and select Electrical Settings. In the Electrical Settings dialog, select Correction Factor and for Material, select Copper and for Temperature, select 90 and click New Correction Factor and for factor, type 1.04 and click OK. Next, let's add a wiring type. On the left side, select Wiring Types. Then, click Add. And for name, type THHN. And for material, select Copper. And for temperature rating, select 75. And for insulation, select THHN. And next, let's add a voltage definition. Select Voltage Definitions. Then click Add. And for name, enter 240 and for a value enter 240 and for a minimum enter 220 and for a maximum enter 250. Next we'll add a distribution system. Select distribution systems and click Add, and for name, enter 120 over 240, and for wires, select 3, for LL voltage, select 240, and for LG voltage, select 120. Next, we'll specify demand factors. Select Demand Factors, and for Load Classification, select Power, and under More Than, select 10,000 VA, and then click Split, and select 20,000 VA, and for Demand Factor, enter 50. Click OK and close the file without saving it as the next lesson will provide its own training file. And that concludes this lesson. In this lesson, you will specify the lighting levels that are required for the different spaces within the building, such as offices, restrooms, and conference rooms. Click the menu browser and select Open. And from the Training Files Imperial Electrical Systems folder, open the file RME Elect Planning 02. Let's add a project parameter for lighting. Click the Manage tab, and from the Project Settings panel, click Project Parameters. In the Project Parameters dialog, click Add. And in the Parameter Properties dialog, 
for name, type required lighting level. For discipline, select electrical. And for type of parameter, select illuminance. And for group parameter under, select electrical lighting. And under categories, select spaces. And verify that instance is selected and click OK twice. Let's verify the new parameter. In the project browser, expand lighting design floor plans and double click level 2 lighting plan. Then select the space object space 218 as shown and click element properties. In the instance properties dialog under electrical lighting note the new parameter required lighting level and click OK. Now let's create a schedule for required lighting levels. Click the view tab and from the create panel click the schedules drop down and select schedule quantities. In the new schedule dialog under category select spaces and for name type space lighting requirements then select schedule keys and for key name type lighting levels and click OK in the schedule properties dialog on the fields tab under available fields double click required lighting level then click OK. In the schedule view, double click the column boundary to the right of each column to adjust the column to fit the text. Next, let's add space lighting requirements to the schedule table. From the schedule panel, under rows, click new. Then under key name, type open office and press enter. For required lighting level, enter 45. Adjust the column boundaries as needed. Then click new to add 13 more rows and complete the table by entering the following. You will need to pause the video at this point to complete the table. Next, we'll change the sort order of the schedule. Right click in the schedule and click view properties. In the instance properties dialog for sorting or grouping click edit. In the schedule properties dialog on the sorting and grouping tab for sort by select required lighting level and then select blank line and click OK twice. Next We'll apply a lighting level to spaces. Open the view Level 2 Lighting Plan. Select Space 218 and click Element Properties. In the Instance Properties dialog under Electrical Lighting, notice that Required Lighting Level is blank and then scroll down to under Identity Data and for Lighting Levels, select Instruction Standard. Then scroll back up and notice now that required lighting level has a value of 50. The value is dimmed since the lighting level is set to use the value assigned to the Instruction Standard key value. The only way to change the value is to either select a different lighting level key or select none for lighting level and type a specific value or edit the required lighting level key schedule for the selected key. Since required lighting level is an instance parameter 
the value input applies only to the selected space. Click OK and close the file without saving it as the next lesson will provide its own training file and that concludes this lesson. In this lesson you will create a space color fill plan using the lighting levels that you specified previously. Space color fills can be used with any parameter that exists for the space components. You will also create a space lighting analysis schedule to aid in the layout of your lighting design. The schedule includes a calculated lighting delta value, which is the difference between the required and the calculated illuminance values. Click the menu browser and select Open. And from the Training Files Imperial Electrical Systems folder, open the file RME ELEC Planning 03. Let's create a color fill legend scheme. Click the Architect tab. And from the Room and Area panel drop down, select Color Schemes. In the Edit Color Scheme dialog, under Schemes, for Category, select Spaces, and then click Duplicate, and in the New Color Scheme dialog, for Name, type Required Lighting, and click OK. Under Scheme Definition, for Title, type Required Lighting Levels, And for color, select required lighting level. And in the colors not preserved message, click OK. Then select by range. Then select the scheme for at least 20 and click add value. Then with the scheme for at least 20 still selected, click add value again. Then select 40 and click Add, and then select 30, and click Add, then select 50, and change it to 75, and then select 40, and change it to 50, then click OK, and next we'll add a legend and apply the color scheme. In the project browser, under Lighting Design floor plans, open the view, level 2 lighting CF. Then click the architect tab and from the room and area panel, click legend. Then click to the right of the drawing as shown and in the choose space type and color scheme dialog, for space type, select spaces and for color scheme, select required lighting and click OK. When you do, the color fill plan displays the required illuminance levels based on the key values previously created. Next, let's create a space lighting analysis schedule. Click the View tab, and on the Create panel, click the Schedules drop-down, and select Schedule Quantities. In the New Schedule dialog, for category, select spaces, and for name, type space lighting analysis, and click OK. In the scheduled properties dialog, on the fields tab under available fields, double click number, name, level, Average Estimated Illumination, Required Lighting Level, and then click Calculated Value. In the Calculated Value dialog, for Name, enter Lighting Delta, and for Discipline, select Electrical, and for Type, select Illuminance, and for Formula, click Browse, 
and in the fields dialog select average estimated illumination and click OK. Back in the calculated value dialog for formula at the end of average estimated illumination press the space bar and type a hyphen and then click browse. Then in the fields dialog select required lighting level and click OK twice. Back in the scheduled properties dialog click the sorting or grouping tab and for sort by select level and then select header and blank line. Then click the formatting tab and for fields select lighting data and click conditional format. In the conditional formatting dialog under condition for test select not between and for value enter negative 5 and 5 and then click background color and under custom colors select red and click OK three times. The lighting delta values that are not within the conditional value of negative 5 and 5 are highlighted in red. Close the file without saving any changes as the next lesson will provide its own training file. And that concludes this lesson.